Hi there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, I'm gonna dive into how to use executive dashboards in Smart Suite. Let's dive right into it. So when starting in your Smart Suite system with a dashboard, the first thing you need to know is essentially it's just a view of the different information in your app. So say for example, I were to go to a new solution here, and we were to go to a sales CRM example as a template, you'll see that we have a fair amount of different pieces of information here. And I'm just gonna quickly add some info from a number standpoint. So let's do number. And I'm gonna start with a field that's a currency field. So if we go add field, I'm gonna add some example revenue for these clients. We can change this field to be named something different. I'm gonna call this monthly revenue. Then I can add a little tooltip that says monthly revenue estimated per client. I'll update the field and then add some dummy data in here. Now, all that you need to do in order to use these dashboards is go here to the view section and then just press create view. Now in the create new view section, you'll see when I click on it that there are a myriad of different options. So let's pick a dashboard. Then you can make it a public dashboard or private, essentially showcasing whether it would be a public facing one or a private one for specific members in the space. I'm gonna do public and get going on this. Now, the cool thing about dashboards is that they have so many widgets, right? So we're talking a ridiculous amount of widgets, actually. We can just scroll through and see, not only is it the usual metric stuff, charts, but there's even conferencing widgets and design widgets that allow you to implement things like Google Meet, Zoom, Figma, and even Google Docs which is really cool. I know a lot of us want to have those great integrations with other applications and Smart Suite's got you covered. So let's just get started uh, by taking a look here at an example one for progress metric. Let's say that we want to map this to the monthly revenue field and we're going to set it to sum and then we're going to write the goal number as, let's say we want to hit 60,000 in monthly recurring revenue. Add widget. Now we can also, if we go here, in the settings, filter it so that the status, so type, is either a customer or a partner. So we do or, and then do type again, is customer. So essentially that, we wanna make sure that we're hitting a goal of, actually let's say 50,000 in this revenue here. So we can call this MRR goal for FY, 23 so for this fiscal year and we can obviously change this on a nice little view here that's a canvas we can click it around we can full screen it we are able to even minimize it make it bigger and then change the highlight color so as you can see this little background here that's a highlight color so let's zoom in on these colors and see all the different options we have here uh, i'm going to do green for money and then able to add a description and i'm just going to write monthly recurring revenue goal for our current customers and partners and then save and then you can also have it just collapse by default too now if we go to the top right here we're able to see this as a full view so we would get rid of the top section which works really well when we're trying to visualize this data better so go to the smart suite again we go right here let's add some more information so let's do a chart for bar chart here and what we can select is let's pick in the account section let's pick values for and let's do monthly revenue again and then let's group it by as you can see if we go back here maybe let's group it by the account name so account name and then let's filter this once again by where name is or where the type is customer or the type is the partner then we can sort of see the different information here. And if we want, we can obviously add a little benchmark line would be pretty cool. So say our goal average revenue for a client is around 5,000. Let's put 5,000. We'll see what clients are sort of hitting the goal average that we want. So MRR average goal. Then if we add this widget, we can see where, if I drag this over, this MRR data is coming from, where the 2700 is exactly adding up to. Then we can add another widget for, just from a metric standpoint, another progress metric for the monthly revenue. And then let's do it where type is prospect. And let's say the goal is to have a pipeline of 10,000. 
coming in. And we can call this prospect pipeline. And then this is just essentially showing what a healthy amount of pipeline money is in there. And these aren't the only ones we have, obviously. Say, for example, we wanted to even put some sort of custom code here. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of crazy that we have that. But let's say I can do this. I want to put a target date to uh, the end of the quarter. So it's May 23rd. The end of this quarter would be June 30th. Let's get rid of the uh, minutes and seconds here and then just do days and hours. And then let's add this. So days until EOQ. We're starting to have a little dashboard that's coming together here, huh? We got some like serious sales data in here. You also are able to add different smart suite views. So you're like able to embed the different views here. So I can add the different fields. So let's say we wanna put the sales CRM accounts app once again, just add the widget really quick, just to show as an example. I'm able to show that information that's on the different views here, right? I could literally take this copy of the account summary and plop it right into the dashboard if I wanted to. For the purposes of this, I'm not gonna get into that, but you totally could add the different fields within here. So click on this and just add specific ones, like maybe what are the prospects, right? So filter to type is prospect or is partner or customer, and then just drag this guy over here. So let's condense this a little bit, condense this guy. Add the names here. And if we wanted to add the grid view for this here, we could add the different fields to display, things like the account manager, clearly me, the size, or even the logo here as well. And then say, for example, based on this information, I wanted to take some notes. I know that I do see dashboards in business that sometimes look like this. We can change this to MRR slash pipeline notes. And then we can put a little H3 for a notes section. Add widget. And if we want to slap this guy right here, could be a little section for notes to be taken to show in a presentation. Now, there are plenty of more dashboards to show in here and plenty more ways to use it, but I hope this gave you an understanding overall of how these executive dashboards can really make things look better from an internal standpoint or from a external presentation standpoint. With that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and make sure to check out all of our other videos at Smart Suite today.